fear is the mind killer. In 2016, Denis Villeneuve released Arrival, a stunning science fiction movie with deep implications for today. Science fiction is never really about the future, it's always about us, and Arrival, set in the barely distant future, feels like a movie that is made for 2016, releasing a few days after the most explosive election in recent memory. But Arrival is based on the award-winning novella Story of Your Life by Ted Chiang, published in 1998, almost two decades ago, which indicates its central themes were building long before 2016. And Arrival is much more concerned with deep truths about language, imagination, and human relationships than a political moment. Not only that, but Arrival is one of the best movies of that year, and one of my personal favourite sci-fi films, containing a moving story, gripping events, shocking twists, and impeccable imagery. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the film's central theme of cooperation, exploring how Denis Villeneuve conveys and drives home the message in an important way. This video essay continues my Roads to Dune series, where I create content on all of the Dune adaptations, Frank Herbert's original novel, Denis Villeneuve's filmography, and his upcoming 2021 film. To stay up to date with all of these videos, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. Also, feel free to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram at Cortex Videos, which is all linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's dive into Denis Villeneuve's Arrival. As On the Nature of Daylight by Max Richter plays over the opening shots of Arrival, we get our first clue for what's about to unfold in the story, and this particular track is one of the saddest songs. It's a bittersweet feeling that instantly puts its mark on the whole film, with the audience learning very quickly that Amy Adams' Dr. Louise Banks has suffered an extreme loss, with this functioning as a prelude to the story. Then the story begins and a series of enormous pod-shaped crafts land all over the earth, hovering just above the ground in 12 locations around the world. Nobody knows why, and nothing happens. As well governments struggle to sort out what this all means, the people of those countries react by violence, joining cults, and even conducting mass suicides. But we begin to follow Dr. Banks, who gets a visit from military intelligence in the form of Colonel Weber, requesting her assistance as an expert linguist in investigating and attempting to communicate with whatever intelligence is behind the landings. She arrives at the site with Jeremy Renner's Ian Donnelly, a leading quantum physicist, to start the mission. From here, they suit up and enter the craft to see if they can make contact, and what unfolds is a perfect message towards our world and the cooperation between people. Its pacing is slower than you'd expect from an alien invasion movie, almost scattered. For a movie with so many complicated ideas, it doesn't waste any more time on exposition than is absolutely necessary. Villeneuve's arrival is serious and intelligently crafted, shifting around with nothing making complete sense until all the pieces suddenly come together. And of course, the cooperation of all of these pieces are more important than a presumed alien invasion or attack. The film's premise hinges on the idea, shared by many linguists and philosophers of language, that we do not all experience the same reality. 
The pieces of it are the same, we live on the same planet, breathe the same air, but our perceptions of those pieces shift and change based on the words and grammar we use to describe them to ourselves and each other. For instance, there is large evidence that a person doesn't really perceive a colour until their vocabulary contains a word attached to meaning that distinguishes it from the other colours. Or consider the phenomenon of words in other languages that describe universal feelings but can only be conveyed accurately in some culture. We might feel the emotion, but without the word to describe it, we tend to merge that emotion in with another under the same heading. This means that reality and what we perceive as comprising the facts of existence takes on a different shape depending on the linguistic tools we use to describe it. Adopting this framework doesn't necessarily mean any of us are more correct than others about the nature of reality, but instead we are doing our best to describe reality as we see it and as we imagine it to be. This is the challenge of translation and why learning a new language at first is just about collecting a new vocabulary and an alternate grammar, but eventually it becomes about imagining and perceiving the world differently. This is the basic insight of Arrival and that if we were to encounter a culture so radically different from our own that simple matters we take for granted were radically shifted, we could not simply gather data, sort out grammar and make conclusions. We'd have to either absorb a different way of seeing despite our fear or risk everything. To underline the point, Dr. Banks and the operation are continuously experiencing breakdowns in communication within the team and with those in other parts of the world who aren't sure whether the information they receive should be kept or shared. Arrival proposes that if we want to empathise with each other, we need to talk to one another and that's the way the human race will survive. But this is just the foundation. Arrival also layers in some important secondary notes that add nuance to this primary idea. Because it's not just deciphering the words that someone else is saying that's important, it's essentially the whole framework that determines how those words are being labelled to meaning. It's the language games and how beings interact with each other when the world is different. This matters for the film's plot, but more primarily, since this is science fiction and therefore actually about us, it has big implications. Language isn't just about understanding how to say things to someone and regard meaning to what comes back, as language has consequences. Embedded in language is action because the metaphors that we use as we try to make sense of the world tell us what to do next. You empathised with someone not when you hear the words they're saying, but when you begin to figure out what metaphors make them work and where that conflicts or agrees with your own perspective. Arrival takes off from this insight in an undeniably sci-fi direction, but it makes a strong case that communication, not battle or combat, is the only way to avoid destroying ourselves. Communication means not just understanding terms we use, but the actual framework through which we perceive reality. And this is of course really hard as we witness in the film. The moment in the ending where this changes is with the powerful message of cooperation. How bridging the gap in communication with a single language can result in us understanding the other and cooperating. Of course, this would be less likely to happen in our real world today, but the message is so powerful that it connects to all of us. The conclusion loops back to the possibilities of the reshaped human imagination, and this is what great sci-fi can do. It can send a perfect message that connects all of us as human beings. Overall, Arrival is a film with complicated and unpredictable visuals that embodies the main point. It's grounded as a humanist story, especially in its moments of silence, and the movie concludes on a different note from the linguistic one. One much more related to loss and a regretful question about life and risk. But the deeper insight on language and how this affects communication and cooperation is where the film manages to elevate the more understandable ideas. 
To me, it's one of the best science fiction films of the 2010s because Denis Villeneuve manages to balance all of this within a compelling, emotional and well-executed story. But that was my video essay on Denis Villeneuve's arrival and how the director displayed the perfect message of cooperation. I'm interested to see how Denis pulls and tugs at this theme in Dune, especially with elements like the developments between the Atreides and the Fremen, but what is more connecting is the overall effect that the story will have in relation to the world around us today. Dune is coming out at the perfect time, and like Arrival, it's a film that is extremely relevant in particular themes. Arrival posed the question of whether humanity could cooperate on a large scale, even more so with the arriving future becoming the present. Dune poses questions on power, violence, free will, fate, the environment, human culture and human cognitive advances. So let's see how Denis will really display these important messages. But like Arrival and his other films, the director has always found the right balance within his narrative, and I personally think he may do the same with Dune. We'll have to see, but let me know down below in the comment section what you personally thought towards Denis Villeneuve's arrival, alongside what you think towards the film's primary message of cooperation. My next video in this Road to Dune marathon continues with Denis Villeneuve's Blade Runner 2049, where I will be going deeper into how the director, in my opinion, crafted a modern science fiction masterpiece. This will be released in the next week, alongside much more content on Dune 2021 coming over the next few months. To stay up to date with this series, along with all the latest news on Denis Villeneuve's Dune, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.